Okay, quick Tuesday morning radar update. So a little gap down this morning and uh, a little drift until the range was posted and we're back into the range now. So let's just quickly have a quick look what's moving. Uh, Metals had a really good day yesterday. A little bit of back and fill today by the looks of things. Let's just quickly have a look. Uh, TLT. Let's just go and look at the dollar. UP is the one I like to use just for dollar. It's a little move down yesterday and metals moved up. Let's pound US right side of reverse fold base there. And let's just jump straight into the screens and see what's in there this morning. I've just spent the morning uh, updating the uh, the stop dates on all my portfolio. It takes forever. I do it kind of once. At, well, you have to do it once every three months. But uh, I did every one today. So all the way through to the end of summer, I don't have to worry about things. Just up, update the new trail points as they uh, come up. So it is... 11 16 just gone we should have traded 38 percent very quiet in the large caps ah oh, there's a few in there let's just uh, order them by sector general mix crowder big big move higher it traded towards these amazing sort of uh move this was the swing day and uh, off it went it's up 25 percent from the swing day amazing but you know obviously not ticking a, a peg ratio anymore but uh pretty pretty good gas in the tank there let's move on tt is this in a potential swing point zone it's moved into mean trend Last time we had it on the screens was this day here. And obviously, well, pullback entry, breakout entry for my style. Don't all hold any here. Buzz through the rest of these. KCT, Saint, what was St. Ives Group? It's a kind of recovery stock. It's made a huge move off this uh, first base we, we looked at. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. And WOSG continues. Uh, motor point. Trust pilot. That's a lose less scenario. And into today's small caps. What did I say? 38%. A few more in the small caps running. No clear sector sort of waiting in, in the volume leaders today. KV bumping against that level. LTHM. No forward on this one, but uh, it's nice for those who took the early, early sort of uh, entries to start getting paid. Sometimes. Uh, they can sneak out and then build a head of steam as they get noticed later. Uh, JIM continues, fantastic. Gas in the tank, this one's uh, 
a very rare view for us. But uh, CCT turning up there as well. Go to group. This is uh, had a had a big tick down in its uh, numbers and. Once it got this this out of the way, then it was trading towards better times. So this was the uh, last intro. So though it was trading towards a big tick down in its uh, pre-tax profit, its earnings, everything, turnover, it got past this result. And then sometimes you'll get a bad day when, when a bad, bad result's posted, but the market wants to just you know that's news days are, are usually noise days investors trade on what they see they don't trade on what they're looking towards they just go oh, bad good you know throw them out put them in the portfolio you know buy sell and it's just it's just on what they see and one that what they read on mass um, you know a high percent of investors do that you let the you know, news days and usually no noise days. If you let the dust settle, usually you can see it in the forward numbers, and um, then all of a sudden it starts doing the opposite. You know, sometimes you get that bad day is what I'm trying to say, and it's down, and then all of a sudden it starts trading up up from that bad day, and everyone's like, "Whoa, what happened to the bad news?" Well, you know, look out the front, out the windscreen rather than out the rear view mirror is basically you know what I'm trying to get across there <laughs> round the houses way once it's posted it's gone Coons is, is a lose less scenario as well and uh, he had a big tick down in the turnover and it still looks oh it's ticking back up in it sorry tick down on the quarterlies was it no it didn't sorry I'm I'm looking at the wrong, wrong line um, it went 8.7 to 13 to 16.3 in the turnover so so decelerating but still still solid I think it's decelerating let's have a look yeah turnover decelerating but still it's a lose less scenario that one is uh, AFRN I've got a position in this so talking my own book here turnover uh, pretty steady on the turnover this one it's decelerating so you know it's not it's going to be virtually flat on percent terms but um, the acceleration is is in the pre-tax profit and the, and the uh, earnings per share so it ticks what I like to trade towards we will see win lose or draw doesn't matter style looked at that one last night didn't didn't we and it's into news today so that's it that's another one of um you know let me just see what it was trading towards ITS I don't see any news on that today actually oh yeah it's just that Share scope hasn't highlighted it for some weird reason. That is strange. Sales in Q1 up 44%. Huge tick up in there. Have a look at that one in the end of day again, maybe. But um, 
yeah, I hit the screens yesterday. I think uh, early days, isn't it? T TMIP got absolutely nothing on this one. Technically, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? But got nothing on it. So jump back in. Where are they going to open the US? It's only 11.25. It's early days there. Gap down in the US. Where are we? Yeah, we've just, you know. We've got some monthly closes coming up as well. So I think what we'll do now is we'll just buzz through these monthly closes and, and see what we see on the monthlies. So <clears throat> we've got hammer time on, on the transports. So far, you know, Dow. We're trying to sort of close higher on the Dow. Um, you know, it's not so important trading below the previous month. It, it is more important where these things actually close. And uh, this one actually closed under this one here, and then it reversed and closed back above. So it's not it's not the secret source to the kingdom, is it? But you know. Markets trade quite choppy. S and P is just an up month. You, you won't believe it by by you know if you looked at Twitter, you won't believe uh, where the markets are. It has been a grind in my portfolio. I'm I'm just over three percent off all time highs at the moment. So it's you know I've been down to six percent off, probably near seven percent off, as everything went down together for a short for a couple of days, but. Um, Nasdaq, Russell is just basing out, um, DAX, hammer time. If the DAX and the transports move together, I take notice. Now it's nice to see both of them trying to, you know, we, we, we're jumping the gun here, I, I'm just trying to, you know, we are jumping the gun, it's not the month end yet. But uh, we're, we're coming towards it, and there's the 250. And this is the small caps, and. Uh, you know, a little move higher into into the end of the month would be nice on that as well, wouldn't it? So, quite an in-depth little look through this morning, but uh, that's me. I'm going to walk away from the screens until the end of day closing screens tonight, and uh, we'll see what's in the end of day screens. Okay.